G'day, Michael here. I'm making further progress on the rotunda, and I'm up to, uh, what would you say, tricky angles, bringing joints together. I've done everything on CAD, but as things happen, the changes that I've made in the project, um, little changes, like this round on the corners, I decided to have these rails protruding, and that's altered things by 10 millimeters on every surface. And that's brought me to some specialised tools that I have here, Focus. Um, I've got this protractor with the set. These are basically engineering combination square sets. This is a limit brand, which is you know, good. And this contrivance here is for finding the centre of a circle. In a second I'll assemble that and show you the, um, that in play. But for the moment I'm using, obviously, the square, which gives me... Well, it gives you the opportunity of using it as a gauge and as a square and also to give you solid 45 degree angle mitres. They've got like a measuring scale on it, focus, but how can I say, I don't find myself using that scale very often. Okay, now this is probably a slightly higher grade um, finish and accuracy. And that's the Mitutoyo. Now you can see I've got it assembled. I wish this thing would focus, come on. Alright, so you can see here, they've got a scale on here as well. But how can I say, it's difficult to use. And you can see, because it's got a legacy of imperial measurements, the blade is 12 inches long, it's not 300 millimetres long. So for metric, it's only good from one end, and you can't... Yeah, it's a mess when you go from the other end. If it was all metric, then it would be very good to use but it's made very accurately at that. Now the protractor scale, focus, is, you know, degree increments. That's really not quite fine enough for most of the jobs and certainly not for these miters and things. So they, they look very fine, but the scale is actually pretty close to useless. And I don't know whether you realize how much I've zoomed in there, but, um, well, you can see there's millimeters in that scale. So the whole field of view in width here is about uh, three inches. Or 75 millimeters. Okay, now the combination square stock. Come on, focus. Combination square stock has got this little contrivance in the end. Now some of them unscrew, some of them just pull out with some sort of taper cap catch. Now basically that's a a scoring pin, so you can use to mark metal or basically mark materials with. So you score a line rather than using a pencil. You get increased accuracy. But I find myself not using that very often. Um, yeah, probably mostly use it on aluminium, funny enough. But on woodwork, it, we can't mark the product, so we've got to use like a sharp pencil. We're going to use, you know, precise mark. All right, so that, that goes in the stock. I'm going to put this camera down in a second. Okay, I couldn't find a very good example, but if I had, say, a circular, le uh, a circular length or a dowel or something, um, I could use it to find the center. But I'm going to use this pulley as an example. Now the way this works is the two faces of the stock are at 45 degree angle to that edge and that edge goes dead on the centre. Focus. On the centre. So right on that edge of the blade, depending on how accurately these things are made, gives you a centre line, a line that goes straight through the centre of a round object. So focus. Blimey. Um, yeah, so you've got got the ability to mark a, a line that goes through the centre. Now all you have to do is uh, go approximately at a right angle to that and it'll give you a centre line. What have I done? Very hard to hold the camera and show you what I'm doing. Okay, so you would score two, two lines and where those two lines intersect is the centre of your object. So this has got a hole in the centre so it's not really something I'd use for here except for maybe giving me a line to drill a maybe a grub screw into that pulley. Um, yeah, so these combination sets have got you know, a number of uses and I've got two of them and I've got two of them for a reason and that reason is of course when there's a blade in one device uh, like in the uh, protractor stock uh, and one in the centering stock I'm out of blades for the square stock so 
I very rarely need all three, but I certainly do need two in combination. So um, with the job that I'm doing now, I've got fancy miters and things. Now here's the, the top edge of these parts. And here we have the opposite end. And where those components will go is ultimately uh, making into this corner. and then straddling over this edge. And I've got to work out the details now of this joint and obviously having something that will mark the angles accurately and square lines accurately are you know, a very important aid when you're trying to get joints correct. Uh, admittedly this isn't going to be the same precision as say a cabinet but its relative precision is still going to be fairly high. Well I guess that's it for this video. Well, feel free to like, share, subscribe, ask a question, leave a comment. Bye for now.